I tested six of the top rated perfumes and I rated them. So you don't have to, unless you want to. Microperfumes is having a buy two, get one free sale on any of their tester bottles. And naturally, your girl could not pick just three. So I went for a whole six. I could have gotten more, but I had to cap it at six, okay? Because I knew that I'd probably end up loving a few and want a few bottles that each cost hundreds. And I just can't bring myself to spend that kind of money right now. So six it is. They have hundreds of perfumes, colognes, body sprays, etc. Okay. But I wanted to choose some of the top designer ones because I'm bougie. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. And I've been dying to try them, but I just can't bring myself to order an entire bottle of it and then end up hating it. And before you say it, yes, I could have gone to Dillard's or Macy's, but I want to try a bunch and I want to test out the long wear of it on my body. So what does that mean? I either try one a day and drive back and forth to the store every day of the week, forgetting which one I like by the end of them, or I'll be sitting there in Dillard's or Macy's, spraying myself like a crazy person and marking on my body which perfume was which i'm just not going to do that so thank you micro perfumes thank you for giving me the gift to do this on my own time in my private space and getting to reference back to the previous bottle that i enjoyed it was a joy okay without further ado here are my reviews so i rated these starting with one all the way up to five okay one terrible two not good three that's okay Four, it's good. Five, fuck me, it's amazing. Here we go. I'm gonna open these with you. They came in these little boxes and inside each one was individually wrapped. So they have like a little, they came in cute little colors so I could tell each one apart. And they had this like cute little ASR model moment. <laughs> little like plastic wrap on them which is awesome so they're all protected and not dinged up and then they come out like this I love this part so yeah they came like this and this is just half of them because I got six um, and then they're the little twisties like this so cute and they also came with like a little qr code to give me a discount on another purchase if i decided to order three more and make it nine perfumes they know what they're doing to me they're also each like labeled like this which makes it super helpful so i know like which one i was smelling so the first one i tried was ysl's libra i think that's how you pronounce it and we're gonna go bougie with this result because turns out in perfume you do the top and then you do the base notes and notes if you don't know are the scents that you get so top notes are going to be the notes that you get when you first spray it the base notes are going to be the notes that you get later on in the day after it's like smoothed in with your body and disclaimer my body is going to create different base notes than your body might so just know sometimes you got to give these a little chancey chance you got to Test them out for some time before you know fully if they're going to work for you. Give it time. Okay, first one. Biocell's Libra. Okay, I'm going to spray these. Top notes. I got, and I'm not a flower connoisseur, jasmine. I got a hint of musk and sweet depth. It smelled like a night out. It could work for a day perfume, but it also just smells so sexy, you know? I would wear this for cocktail party, for work for daily use in the spring or summer. It could be for a date, but it might not be my first pick personally because it's not like sexy enough. It's just like a nice woman perfume. Personally, I like more musty scents for date night. And this one's not too musty or deep. I really liked this and I give it a four out of five. Because I would wear this on the daily. The next one, number two, J'adore by Dior. Oh. Definitely lighter than the last one, more of a daily. This one, freaking classic, okay? Instantly, J-Lo. If J-Lo had a scent, it would be this. It's giving rich mama. It's giving sweet and flowery. Loved it. Okay, I would wear this for a date night. It's like smooth and sexy, crisp. This is like young, desirable woman, not an older scent. Base notes, 
at the end of the day, it was still sweet, still flowery. Honestly, I loved this and I rated it a five out of five. Well done, Christian. Well done. Moving on. Number three. Black Orchid by Tom Ford. That one's not for me. Okay, top notes, spicy, musty. It's very earthy, like a patchouli. Like I could smell this like sage or, you know, Palo Santo burning in the house. That's what this smells like. It's got a hint of like sweet cinnamon, okay? My mom would wear this. It's, it's a little older for me. Once it meshed with my skin, I was like, okay, this isn't that bad. It was still a little earthy, but not nearly as earthy as when I first sprayed it. Very sweet. I rated this a three out of five. It was okay. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my favorite. Okay, moving on. You guessed it. Number four is Giorgio Armani's My Way. Okay, ready? Oh, <sighs> that smells so freaking good. Okay, top notes. A rich, classy woman, darling. It's light and bright. This is more daily. It's like a sexy, flowery jasmine and rose. This is dangerous. <laughs> it's, it's a scent that I feel like everybody will love. I'm not getting any musk in this. There's no earthy tones in this. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, base notes. After this wore off, it was sweet, juicy, fresh. It was crisp and light, but deep. It honestly smells like a natural, but for this, I rated it a four because it smells like my mom. <laughs> like I remember childhood, it's not old by any means, but I remember in my childhood when my mom would come home from dinner and put me to bed. But this in all seriousness, young woman, without a doubt, I freaking love this scent. It's really, really good. Number five, Versace's Bright Crystal. You know, I had to try it. Here we go. Okay. The top notes. It's sweet and bright. There's something at the base that's earthy. It's not too sexy. It's a nice daily perfume for somebody else, not for me. <laughs> okay, after it wore off, the base is like, it's sweeter, it's citrusy. It's probably nice on somebody for like a daily wear, like back in the 90s. I rate this one like a 2.5. Number six, Prada Paradox. Okay, top notes are like sweet, flowery, like I actually have lilies in my kitchen right now. It's a little musty. It's sexy. It's candy in a bottle. It smelled nice with my body. And to me, this scent smells so unique compared to what I've smelled out there. Like this, obviously I gave a five out of five. So all in all, my top favorites were Paradox by Prada and J'adore by Christian Dior. Love those. Those got a five. My fours, the next ones below were Libra by Yves Saint Laurent and My Way by, by Giorgio Armani. So close, number fours. And then my number three slash two, not that great. For me, were Bright Crystal by Versace, sorry Versace, and Black Orchid by Tom Ford. None of these that I tried were bad. Like I would wear them during the day. I wouldn't wear them on a date night necessarily. I hope this was helpful and I highly recommend Micro Perfumes. The deal was unmatchable. I'm so grateful that I got this experience and I will continue to wear all of these and just try them at like different times. Um, I'll wear my favorite ones out on date night, baby, because you know, <laughs> your girl wants to smell good. Um, but on the daily wear, I'll probably end up wearing even the ones I wasn't a crazy fan of. So it was still worth investing in. Okay, go get your own, use the QR code. And I hope you guys have a great experience. Happy shopping. Bye.